my wife was born with male and female body parts. Balenciaga's though. Here we go. This is Morgan. She fell in love with Curtis. I was born an uh, intersex woman, and that is when uh -huh. you're born with female and male parts. Interesting. After sharing their romance online, people questioned Morgan's identity. People think sometimes my husband is gay because I'm intersex. Someone says, that's a man we know. Girl, go seek help. Dude in a dress with a gut. That was when I was pregnant. Oh. And people love referencing like, there's intersex people. They're very rare. I've actually never seen one with my own eyes. This is the first one I've seen. That's actually crazy. Where you're actually born with, oh, wow. So now which one do you pick type shit? Obviously they picked woman. She fell in love with, so she's still a girl. How they... She chose girl. She chose girl. You picked them. But That's lit, you, you have a choice. Like you, you actually have a choice. Okay, you feel both? She probably had a micro P. Oh. Which they could just boop and then, she but you still got the ovaries and shit. So technically. Uh -huh. So it's not even like but fully does, functioning. Does the other one really work? No. There's like no, hang in there. Oh God, you probably, oh. you don't have a full functioning dang -lang. It's like, you know oh. the dogs so they have the extra toe? Boom. That's probably That's even cats. Cats have like five or six fingers sometimes. <laughs> I'm Morgan Aaliyah. I'm Curtis Williams. People always- Do well, you know where he is? Energy. He want to be there. They have a lot of opinions, uh, unfair opinions. They got that dead man. on the dating app. He does not want to be there. And he reached out to me and I was just so happy on break. Where's he looking? And I replied to his message. We met after work and we literally just talked all night long. And he was very polite, just a gentleman. and. That's what first attracted me to him. We met on a Monday, on a Friday. Loosen up, brother. We're engaged. Guys. But um, as long as we love each other, that's all that matters. It's a rare intersex. Every one of these love don't judge you gotta things. Be in the kitchen cooking. They do a segment where they have to be cooking breakfast. Every time they gotta be in the kitchen talking about some shit. Cause they're just normal people. I guess where else do you really go in the house to do stuff? Cause it's just couches and beds. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, like you have to do the kitchen stuff so you're walking around. Uh, intersex woman, and that is when you Bro, he's just zoning out. And male parts. I do have ovaries. I have the same full on everything. And you can either conceive or you can get someone pregnant. Uh, does it actually currently have two? <laughs> but it's it's how I was born. Uh, I've come to love it. Growing up, my mom she raised me as her son, and um, yeah. it was tough. I haven't heard him say anything yet. <laughs> Speak up, sir. <laughs> I w was kind of pretending to be something that I didn't feel. He's like father. Woman. So she raised me as her son up until. Oh, um, he probably didn't want anyone to know. Live on campus, and um, that's when I found more of my woman, and really Damn. just grew as Morgan Ali. He just yawned. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I can look at some photos. This is me when I was little. Are they vibing? Like, like one or two. Okay. <laughs> and. That's my mom. Mm -hmm. Is he mute? Is that the other? He does no expression. And I was like my picture for like the next three years. Growing up, I didn't feel like I really fit in with any, like just anybody, girl or a boy. And um, yeah, it wasn't until I got into my adult years when I was able to go to the doctor on my own and do more research. He almost threw up there. My Did you see that? I think he's sick. Like, go back. I was able to go to the doctor on my what own. The burping and shit. <laughs> yawning and shit. Looking everywhere. My woman and me. I thought she was a catfish. <laughs> oh! He speaks. And she thought the same thing about me. Yes, I think. <laughs> I thought she pretty. I got to talk to her. Yeah. Well, if he didn't know, technically that would be a catfish. True. Yeah. Told me, right? Yeah. And we just talked, got to know each other a little bit more. I just explained to him my, you know, my body. Well, I was cool with it. I'm not judgmental and everything. And I said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Think he went whatever. He's attracted to. Head is head. But he's not, he's just okay with me being different and understanding that I do have both parts, that I 
and more feminine than anything else. I like this one. Mm-hmm. His face. Yeah. That so one. a few other comments. That Him not smiling. Someone said that's a man we know. And someone said, girl, go seek help. Dude in a dress with a gut. That was when I was pregnant. My experience with- You got, you have a kid? What? We moved to a new city. I was in shock. Okay. Really exciting. Wow. We, we, you know, we prayed for that baby. Crazy. And we tried to, I'm like, I'm getting emotional, sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, went to different doctors. I got turned down at multiple different clinics. Um, most doctors were like, we can refer you here, but we can't see you. And to be pregnant and to not get help, to not get checkups, you know, it was just what? a lot going on. I was nauseous, had very bad pain. No checkups. And uh, we did lose our baby. Damn. Damn. What's wrong with the docs? And uh, it was just... Did they know that going in that this is an extremely high risk pregnancy and it probably 90% chance won't work with your system and the way your body's set up? I have known nothing about the medical ailment, but to me, it makes sense that maybe that wouldn't... She can get pregnant, but maybe it really won't. There's gonna be a lot of complications. Yes. Yeah. Because of the way yours is set up, you would think she went through all the precautionary sort of checkups or yeah, Googling, can I have Or is there a way like, yeah, you just going to the doctor. You do a surrogate, extract the eggs or something. Well, but then she said, but then we went to doctors when I found out I was pregnant and no one could see me, but it's like, I guess I'm just saying, well, wouldn't you want to confirm that everything is good to go before you even got right. pregnant? And like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like she was saying, that's gonna be hard in your system. Cause it is rare what she has. So yeah, I would do a little double check. Yeah. If you have asthma before you run a marathon, check with your doctor to make sure mm -hmm. you're good to go before you start running. Cause you can't be mid marathon like doc, my chest getting tight. I never had this before. Like, well, brother. I knew you had something going on. You knew you had asthma. And the same with, yep, with pregnancy, like certain ages, certain conditions that women have that it's you can't get pregnant with, or it's- yeah, it's like anyone should go through all of those measures. Uh-huh. I, I, Even people at certain old ages, they can't do surgery because you could die. Boom. You just, your body's too old to be operated on. And that's just the most basic one, so. He might be bi, then it's perfect. Perfect setup for him. Easy, you're two and one for me. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Bogo. <laughs> Buy one, get one. <laughs> one stop shop. <laughs> Not the one stock. Yeah. <laughs> Multi purpose. But he didn't question it or he didn't like have any sort of judgments after. Like he was just cool with it. Like, yeah, I was cool. That's what he said. That's me. Sure. And yeah, that's just who he is. You know, everyone's like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. I would have some questions. <laughs> Personally. Personally, I would have some questions. Said, Let me see. Yeah, that's me. Let me look at it. That's me. That's all me. That's Ronnie. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's all him. All you, brother. <laughs> it's all you, brother. You took it away. Yeah, it was just a lot to do with that. That is sad, though. But sad. We have our chance again with parenthood. I guess God was just was not ready for us to be parents. A lot of people doubted, you know, that I was intersex. People would say like, oh. I'm not doubting anything. Man. I believe it, I've seen two heads. Together, for real, people have doubted that uh, my pregnancy was fake. People were saying, Oh, she just has a beer belly, or how can this be? My belly did not look the same. The things I went through weren't the same. Um, the way the baby was gonna be birthed wasn't gonna be the same. I was gonna have to get a C-section. I was saying, that's what I was saying. Telling me that they're also intersex, and by me speaking up, has allowed them to feel heard, allowed them to feel like they matter. And like, my story really just helped a lot of people kind of come out the closet with hiding. Everyone has their own opinion. There's miserable people in the world and misery loves company. Facts. People come a lot. I feel like it's definitely brought us closer. We just get stronger and stronger every day. Yeah. Ready? Him, yeah. Yes. I'm away. Okay. He's not a talker. Class. He got, oh, his haircut. Is that where they're going? Like the barber, please? Yeah. No blend on that one. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. no. You cut it short there. That didn't really, didn't blend it in for him. Barber. Look like at that for, Andrew Schultz. Forever ending taper. Yeah, got the Andrew Schultz. Yeah, Schultz do got that haircut. Damn. It's it's popular in like Europe, I think. You, you got the once. UK style. Rocket. It opened doors for so many people like me, you know, to know like you can get pregnant. It's possible to have a baby. 
I'm glad to be here with my He's people. yawning every clip. He keeps yawning. <laughs> this is my story, you know. He makes me feel safe. He makes me feel happy. He's not making me feel anything. He's making me feel tired. Happy yeah, couple, I mean. Yeah. He only opens up with her. Yeah. Camera's got to be on. He's camera shy. People annoy me or don't like who I'm dating. I only can just annoy them and pray for them. Tell them. There's a spider on you, sorry. Come on, honey. Smooches. Mwah, gotcha. <laughs> to death do his part. Like, this what is this is guy? Is he? Five. Like, she's in love. Is he? What? <laughs> Oh my, there had to be comments talking about his camera shy. Don't judge, judge. More power to her. Glad she's doing her journey. Oh, really unfortunate she went through that miscarriage. That's really upsetting. Maybe they can have another one. She seems like she's doing well. My brother, on the other hand. She looks filled with life. He's stressing me out. How many questions? They said we gotta cook in the kitchen. They woke him up for that. If she's pregnant, it means she's a female. I don't get why people would hate on her. Well, she, but if maybe, she's intersex, I mean she's both though. Is she a, right? a woman with a micro attached? Or she said she has male parts, but she didn't say micro. I think you just kind of appointed that to her. I did appoint that to her because I'm thinking, how could you have a whole schlong and where does where would they go? She got both holes and she got two. She built different. Cause you know certain birth defects where it's like, I knew some people that they had like a underdeveloped hand fingers or an arm was grown, like lobster claw type shit. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it started growing and then it stopped. And then you just kind of get like, Who knows? it's her normal. It's all she knows. Yeah, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't like know. All life. You wouldn't understand. It's just, what do you mean? Look, it's somebody normal. else and be like, you're weird. I have both. Yeah. My kid's sister was born with congenital Adrial hyperplasia and it causes ambiguous genitalia. She lived to be 26. She had just turned 26 a couple months before she passed away. Oh, shit. People can't help how they're born. She was bullied relentlessly because she looked very masculine in a lot of ways, but she was female. People accused her of being trans, but she wasn't. People please be kind. You never know somebody's story. Could be more leaning female but you just happen to have both parts. I know very little about it, but... Seems like she was a girl that just also had a male part. Let's say she's pregnant, she's a woman. Because then as a kid, they would shave his head. Like, they dressed her as a guy, as a boy. And then I, I took her growing up to then come out the closet, like she said, so it makes sense. They're saying it's sad she couldn't receive medical attention during her pregnancy. That's crazy because she actually has ovaries. Well, probably doctors didn't have the capabilities to... Like, do you think they didn't know even what to do? Probably. It's like, damn, I've really never seen this before. <laughs> and if her town's small, maybe there just wasn't the right people there. Mm, you gotta go to some. Yeah, she probably would have fly, like go to Turkey or go to LA. Like, probably had to get out of there. Mm -hmm. They were like, we'd never seen this shit. Can you imagine, doc. Oh, oh, honey, I don't know, honey. I remember. You gotta that. Go be crazy. Else. Docs are saying that to you. What? You gotta go somewhere else with that shit. I mean, this Yo. is the labor room. I ain't never seen some shit like that, bro. Get on. Male, female, that's all we know. I had this time. Rob remembers this vividly. I when I had a bunch of bug bites. Something was biting me at night. All right. Something huge. It was a bunch of bites on my arm here. And then I went to this little minute clinic or some bullshit. And then the doctor's like, oh yeah, let me see. I was like, yeah, I have bug bites that are getting really bad. She's like, yeah, let's take a look. She pulls it out. She goes, oh. I was like, yeah, you don't want your doctor saying that. You don't want to hear your doc saying that. The doctor said, oh. Well, oh God. Well, it was bad, right? Doc. What doc? And then they, the doc literally said they couldn't treat me. Oh shit. I had to get referred somewhere else. Ah, so shit. was it a bug bite or what, what did it end up being? Yeah, I actually, had, I actually had to get steroids. I had to get a steroid stop, shot in my butt cheek. Brands on steroids. You feel stronger? Yeah, because they shot me with testosterone and shit. Oh, yeah. Rory rage and shit. You know? Yeah, I started oh. punching shit after that. But the bites went away, which is good. I never found out what it was either. I would file a lawsuit against the doctors that refused to treat her. I, I think doctors are ready to make money at any second. I just don't think they were prepared. Like they didn't even send her to no other place or nothing. Well, yeah. they said they referred her. That's what she oh, said. Oh, they did? Okay. Oh. She said they were, okay. they kept referring me to different places. Mm. Yeah, I also agree that the healthcare system is awfully stressful. But then, yeah, you would think like, wouldn't you have thought about that? that? Before, hey doc, I want to get pregnant. Do I have the means to do so with the way my body's set up? Exactly. Like, and if I do get pregnant, where do I go for my checkups? Yeah. Who knows how to deal with Who this? will check on me? That, boom. I see a lot of people making comments about the doctors, but I don't think anyone here is a doctor. Yeah, no, definitely not. So it's kind of hard to speak on like... Their fault. Did they teach that in school? Those hey, doctors should just treat her. When there's an intersex person, here's what you do. It's a rare case. The yeah. husband seems so uncomfortable like he doesn't want to be on screen. Exactly. <laughs> They're a happy couple. I'm happy for them, honestly. She can conceive and get someone pregnant. Yeah. That's what it. Now, if your girl's that strong, does she need help with the grocery? You know, when it's like grocery shopping, like, hey, babe, let me get that for you. Let me open that jar for you. 
She's like, I got this. Babe. She looks stronger than him. She is. I'd be handing her the pickle jar. Just from the looks. Like, I don't even think she would ask for help. She would always open it so she would never question. Is it even fair for her to be like, babe, can you do this? Like, actually, you're, I think you're more quick. Because I think she still has like the male muscle mass. She said she has male body parts. Well, never. She That's one of them is like the build. If she has the male parts, that means those make testosterone. That's why her muscles are. Yeah, she can't help it. If we get in the skirmish in public, you defend me. She got the muscles. Well, I got a dick. So, y'all didn't know. Just felt the need to point that out. Now we do. <laughs>